This tutorial looks at uh, publishing your website. It's a relatively straightforward task, um, but before you have it done, you really don't have a website. What you have is a web presentation. It's a representation of your site offline. So you may have it um, on a USB key, or you might have it on your hard disk, or you may have it stored somewhere else. Uh, but throughout this um, module, I've been asking, I've been asking you to um, to make sure that you store all of your files that you're creating for your website into the one folder. So this uh, is where it really pays off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that folder and I'm going to move all the files from that particular folder to a, a, an online destination. And um, I'm, I'm going to ask all of you to upload the, the, the file to the one website because of the fact that it's a free website and it doesn't have much in the line of advertisement on it. It's a relatively straightforward uh, ask. The website we're going to publish uh, our site onto is called freeasphosting.net. Uh, I have the address of it on the screen in a second, but it's a very straightforward and uh, free website that you can host it onto. Um, and I'll go through the process of doing so in a few minutes. Um, but as you can see here, up until now, we've gone through all the stages, the idea, analysis, planning, design, right through to publication. And publication, as I said, is a very quick um, step from where we take our website from our own computers or USB, our own um, private location and put it onto a public location, which is online. So uh, to do that, we're going to use, um, as I mentioned, freeasphosting.net. So the address is appearing on the bottom here, uh, freeasphosting.net. So once you get in there, it'll ask you to sign up um, as we, we can see here, and it'll go through a very simple process where it'll ask you for a username, a password, and um, verify your password, obviously. So it's very, very straightforward. So and an email address, of course, um, and it'll allow you to create an account. And once you create an account, I'll, um, I'm will i just gonna jump in here. I have a, an account created already. So I won't go through the sign up phase, but that's where you will go up here in the top I'm going to just log in here and it'll bring me to this menu here. Now, I'm not really interested in anything else bar the whole idea of hosting and publishing your page and your site. So I'm just going to go into my files. And at, the, at this moment in time, when you have a look at this, you'll see that there's one file up here in one folder. OK, the file is called default.shtml. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to upload our site to this particular space. Now, there's two ways of doing it. You can upload each individual page one by one, or you can zip your uh, website up and upload it in one go, which is what I'm going to do. Um, why might you upload a file one by one? Well, there might be times where you might see something wrong or you might want to update a particular file and you just want to change that file. So you can then upload the, the file one by one if you want to after that. So it's it's very straightforward. So. What I'm going to do here is, in our case, I'm going to go upload. But before I do, I'm just going to go to my actual folder where my files are. And I'm going to just open up my folder. Now, my folder here is, it's in my web dev folder, but all my website is in here called upload, okay? So if I just go in here for a second, you can see I have a lot of files in here, okay? Uh, some of them are images, some of them are, are web pages, and some of them are, are documents and PDFs and the usual kind of array of things you'll have on your website. OK, so um, what I'm going to do is I can upload these one by one if I wanted to. But what I'm really going to do is there's 39 files, so I'd have to upload them. You know, it'll take me 39 times as long nearly to upload them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything in here by going Control A and then I'm going to go right click my index file here, send to compressed zip folder, okay? Now, it's gonna call my zip file index because I right click the index file. So I don't want to call mine index. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it, you know, I can call it index if I want to, but I'm gonna call my website so I know exactly what file I'm dealing with, okay? so. The great thing about that is it's down here now, it's in alphabetical order. It's called website.zip um, and it 
what it's done is taken all the files in this particular folder and zipped them up like like you would if you were going on holidays get all your clothes put them into a suitcase so you only have to carry the one item which is exactly what's happening here all the files are in this zip file compress the zip file so what i'm going to do in a, in a second is i'm going to jump back out to the website that i was dealing with a minute ago and i'm going to upload just this zip file so i'm going to jump back out here in here and all i'm going to do is i'm going to go click on upload over here it'll ask me to put my files in here so i'm going to browse for my file which is it's in my upload folder and it's called website.zip so i don't need to select all of these i just go and get one of them and go open and there it is it's up there already okay so you can see there's my zip file now what i need to do up here is unzip my file so it opens up all my files into this particular folder so i'm just going to click on the file that i need to unzip which is there and i'm just going to go unzip do you want to overwrite existing files i do i mean there's nothing in here that, that i own so i'm going to go okay all right and you will see that all of my files are unzipped down along here like this so now i've uploaded all my stuff online the next thing i need to do is i need to uh, go and make sure it works okay so i'm going to find my index page which is my home page i'm going to click on this all right and you'll see it opens up my home page here all right so you can see my um address is up here on top so i'm just going to copy that because that's what you'll send to me um to verify that you've uploaded your site so I'm going to come along here and I'm going to click on introduction. Make sure everything works. Font, lists, tables, links, images, contact us. OK, so all I'm doing is making sure the pages are there and making sure that I can scroll up and down along them. And there's no images missing, but everything is working the same as it did offline. And it's working online and I'm just playing around with these different things. Okay, so you can see them all working there and they all work fine. You can see my Google map and all the rest of those things. And uh, so everything is perfect, okay? So this is the important bit here. I'm gonna take my URL, I'm gonna stick it in an email and send it to me, okay? So that's your address. That's the address that you've uploaded your site onto, okay? and. All of these things are in there and you can see if you want to delete something, you just simply click on the file that you want to delete, whatever that is, and you go delete. Um, or if you want to upload something else, you go upload. OK, so if you wanted to change something in expression um, and then upload it here, that's what you would do with that. So it's a very, very straightforward process. All I did just to recap is I created my account. Um, I then went in there and I went into the folder where all my files are. I highlighted everything, go control A, right click, send to compressed zip file. Then I went in here to ASP hosting, free ASP hosting.net. And I uploaded my file, the zip file that I created. And then I turned around and I unzipped it. And if you've done everything correctly offline, it should work a dream online as well. So it's going back here for a second. This is all in the PowerPoint, just in case anyone missed a step, my files upload and take that address and send it. Okay. And test the website, make sure test it in a number of browsers, make sure it works for everybody all of the time. Okay. And You then know your, your uh, address and so on. So copy the link and submit it to me.